Hi, let's create this. We are going to use this character I downloaded for free in Mixamo. All you need to do is to sign in and you're good to go. The link to download this character is in the description. Download this character, but any character gonna work. Now we're in Blender 4.2, so first let's delete the default cube and import our Oodle we've downloaded from Nixima. You can easily drag and drop it in Blender and it will load perfectly fine. Then import FBX file. Hit space button to play the animation, but the animation is very slow for me so let's adjust the keyframes one time. The first thing we need to find the right bone for the part you want to deal with, in our case is head movement, so let's find a right bone. Let's make these bones visible in front for easy selection of bones. Yeah, I think this is right bone for controlling head rotation so, let's add drivers to control the rotation of this bone. If you hit and key and found these keys are yellow, right click them and clear the keyframes otherwise you wouldn't be able to add driver in these values. Also the name of this bone is important to know so as we can simply search it in outliner window. What follows is to add empty object which will be our controller to control the rotation of the head. Make sure you position it in front of the face of this guy. It's a good time now to go into pose mode to find the right axis to add drivers waiting to be assigned this empty object as as the controller. But make sure to select the bone first otherwise you lines have no lucky with that. Did you see the way head rotate, right? So we need to focus and add drivers on X and Y axis. Each axis will have its own driver but with the same controller which is our empty object. Make sure to open the drivers window. This is where we can assign controller of the driver, drivers expressions and what property of controller to trigger the driver. Find the right axis then right click on it to add driver. The purple color tells us that the driver is there to control that value. These dots what you see here are not keyframe guys. Just see them as they are they are something else. Anyway click on any of them to assign controller and to set how the controller gonna drive. And here on these options is where all the magic happens so, you need to be very careful here then when you read your crush text message. In type option, this is the controller location for which when it moves in the effect occur. Anyway enough speech, just pay attention and you'll understand what is going on into those values. You can the driver works only when the empty object move into x axis, so we need to fix it. You can the driver works only when the empty object move into x axis, so we need to fix it. We need to fix the location of the CN troller for driver. <laughs> the direction is not correct, let's add the negative value in expression to invert it. It's really perfect now, and I hope you got the process, right? We're going to repeat the same process for the rotation of the head in Y axis so if you didn't get the process clearly it first it, it's your time now. You must not mix this at every cost.
Now everything works correctly but the head is not really facing the empty object so, what you are supposed to do is to adjust the values in the driver window till everything looks fine. Just watch what I'm doing here and don't skip this video, any part otherwise things might go different for you. Copy this current value of the Z location of empty object to the driver's expression. Make sure your empty is located in correct position on viewport before copying. I think now we talk, right? Let's fix this again by adding the negative value in expression. To fix this issue we need to correctly position this empty object right in front of face of this guy. See how I did that but patience is needed here as you are supposed to adjust the driver's value as repeatedly until everything looks perfect. Yeah, after boring part. Now we have everything aligned perfectly, but we're not done yet. Let's do it quickly. So now you can parent anything in this empty object, for me I'll attach a flower. I basically use a botanic add-on for the plants asset you can download it to in Blender Market the link is in description. Now parent the flower with the flower by holding shift and dragging it to on empty object, select the empty and move it around. You can create animation for this by enabling auto keyframe and move thing around. Then you can adjust the end smooth speed the speed of animation by pressing Alt key plus O to make the movements of animation very smooth. Wait, we're not done yet. You can be more creative, like you can attach camera and attach it to the empty object and focus the face maybe. Let's do it quickly. Then you can adjust the end smooth speed the speed of animation by pressing Alt key plus O to make the movements of animation very smooth. If you found the tutorial useful, be sure to leave a like, comment in section below. On what you think about this tutorial and suggestions. Heat, render, repeat. Creativity knows no bounds. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.